first two rounds. This one of his tougher tests back in May of 83. And they continue to yell from the corner of King, punch and roll, but they continue to stand there and suck it up. Again, the uppercuts by Hargrove, the uppercuts that just don't stop. The cut over the right eye, bleeding some. Last March in Atlantic City, Hargrove's knockout and win string came to an end. You know, Marv, when they fight as close as these two guys have, close to each other, they bang heads a lot. It was just a question of time. Who got cut first? For Earl Hargrove, who's put in a... Oh, another great right hand by Medell. And he won. Hargrove after the loss. It was a difficult period as he discussed with Purdy. Harold, following that shocking defeat by Mark Bedell, you disappeared from the scene for almost a year. Where'd you go? Well, a lot of people was on the wrong foot. They said a walk from the gym. I haven't really went nowhere. I was just trying to take a little time to get my business organized. And after I did that, then I came right back in the gym and got ready and I took on a fight just as I came back in the gym. Now that fight you took in that fight, you did something you'd never done before. You heard the decision of the judges. Now, you've knocked everybody out you fought. Do you think that was a good enough tune-up fight for a fight like John Mugabe? Yeah, for a comeback after my seven months, I think it was a good fight. Give me time to get some of the rust off me. I moon around, I'll get my punches off, my time was good. Nothing real, real good. When two bangers like you and John the Beast Mugabe get together, someone's got to go. Right, somebody is going to go, and it won't be me. This comes tomorrow, when I take on Johnny Beast Mugabe, I will knock him out, and no doubt, I will do exactly that. And here comes Earl Hargrove, record of 26-1, 25 by knockout. His only loss last March, as seen here on NBC, stopped in five rounds by Mark Medow. As Ferdy discussed with Earl the Pearl, his last fight, December 5th here in Tampa. He scored a 10-round decision over Roberto Hernandez. His first non-KO victory, and Hargrove did not have an easy time winning a split decision, not a popular decision, with the crowd. Earl Hargrove in the ring, awaiting the appearance of the Beast. John Mugabe, who will have a more celebrated entrance. John the Beast Mugabe, 24 years old, from Uganda, and now living here in Tampa, ranked first among junior middleweights at 154 pounds by the World Boxing Council. Mugabe's last fight, last September, in London, moving up to middleweight for that bout, he stopped Nino Gonzalez in the first round, his eighth first-round knockout. In fact, 15 of his 24 KOs have come within the first three rounds. Prior, prior to that bout with Gonzalez, he put away Frank the Animal Fletcher in four. That was last August. John Mugabe, from a family of six brothers and sisters, raised by his mother. His father was killed in a car accident back in 79. He won the 1980 Olympic silver medal in Moscow following a spectacular amateur career that began at the age of 12 and included nearly 200 fights, many against international competition. And here comes Mugabe. Peace. 
Hicks is ready. And we'll be back with the fight in just a moment. Try to remember. Welcome back to Tampa, Florida. Marv Albert with the fight doctor, Ferdy Pacheco. And what do we have here? Green boxing gloves? Green boxing gloves. The great Irish promoter, Phil Alessi, has chosen green gloves to commemorate St. Patrick's Day. And while on the subject of great Irish gentlemen, we at NBC Sports wish Gil Clancy the best, who's home recovering from hip surgery. It may be the first time in years that Gil has been able to walk the straight and narrow. So from one Irishman to another, Gil Feliz Santo Bernardo. All right, Bernie, on that note, let us get to the ring for the introductions. Here's Mark Biro. Ladies and gentlemen, today's bout under the sanction of the Florida State Athletic Commission, Chairman Bob Shevin, Executive Director Colonel George Porter. Alessi Promotions presents the main event, the K.O. Corral. Ten rounds, junior middleweights. Your referee for this event from Brandon, Florida, Mike Boggs. Introducing first in the red corner to my left, wearing the yellow lime trunks with navy blue trim. He weighs 154 and three quarter pounds from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. His professional record, 26 wins, one defeat. He has 25 knockouts, ranked number 10 by the Ring Magazine, Earl the Pearl Hargrove. Hargrove. His opponent, wearing the white trunks with black trim, he weighs 155 pounds from Kampala, Uganda, now making his home in Tampa, Florida. He is 24 professional bouts, 24 knockouts, the number one ranked junior middleweight in the world, John the Beast Mugabe. Mugabe. Ten rounds, junior middleweight. And the champ for the beast, John Mugabe, in his seventh fight here in Tampa. And here is the stare down between Earl Hargrove and John Mugabe. Rabbit punch to kitty punch. I want a good clean fight. I will not of the tape. Shake hands, have a good one. Shake hands. With uh, nothing significant between the two. Earl Hargrove, 27 years old out of Philadelphia. Record of 26 and 1. 25 by knockout. 18 of his KOs have come within the first two rounds. 10 in the opening round. And John Mugabe, 24 and 0. All 24 by knockout. Scoring on the 10 point must. Handled by the two judges. And the referee, Mike Boggs. Judges, Darrell Brown, Rich Carley. The bell does not save the fighter except in the final round. No standing eight. There is a mandatory eight. Three knockdown rule is in effect. Three knockdowns in one round, and the fight is over. And Mugabe getting right down to business. Do not go far from your set. These two guys are throwing everything they got in the first round. Big right hand landed by Mugabe. Switch handle blows. Hargrove 
to the crowd as he makes it 25 and 0. All 25 by KO. And Hargrove is up. John Mugabe went right at Earl Hargrove, tagged him with the right hand. Hargrove able to shake it off. Mugabe went right at him again, and we'll get a look at that first knockdown. The second one ended it. A chant of we want hers as you take a look at that right hand that did not connect. And there it is, the left hook that sends Hargrove to the canvas. This some 35, 40 seconds in to the opening round. And now the knockdown that concluded battles here in round one. That was it. And it uh, took a good minute and a half before Hargrove was able to, uh, with help, make it to the stool. So John the Beast Mugabe, the 24-year-old from Uganda, now living here in Tampa, makes it 25 and all. All 25 by knockout. We'll be back to talk with Mugabe in just a moment. Back in Tampa, the crowd is still buzzing as John Mugabe. Cornelius Bosa, I should say, stopped Earl Hargrove in the opening round. And the crowd responding to John the Beast Mugabe. out in round one let's go to the ring here's the fight doctor john didn't seem like it was worth all the trouble to train that hard yeah because you know, i came to fight you know i was in the good shape you seem to be wild and reckless at the end looking for a knockout yeah because you know the guy the guy came on me bad so i can take my chance to knock him out well you did knock him out like you usually do in the first round were you surprised how yeah. fast you got rid of him yeah i was cool I just said, cool, I knew. It's the longer, even how many, how many, the whole time. I knew I'm going to knock him up. The crowd has yeah. been chanting here, we want Hearns, we want Hearns. Do you want Hearns or do you oh, want Hagler? I want Hearns very bad for this moment. I think I want to fight Hearns, I'm ready. Oh, Hagler. Oh, Hagler. Mickey Duff, the manager that has guided uh, John Mugabe's career, would you like to have Hagler, would you like to have Hearns? I think the real contender for the junior middleweight and the middleweight championship of the world is John Mugabe. We're ready to fight the winner. Very well. From a great victory by John Mugabe in Tampa, Florida, we go back to ringside at Marv Albert. All right, Ferdy, they've just corrected the official time of that uh, knockout. 133 of round one. Mugabe stopping Hargrove. Now, also on today's card, Cornelius Bosa Edwards went up against Gary Campbell in a lightweight bout. And when Bosa Edwards, the one-time champion, is in the ring,